Hello everyone, today we will learn how to add Razorpay sales to new Zoho CRM leads. So whenever an order is paid on Razorpay, you get a notification about that. But if you want to store it and create a lead in your Zoho CRM, then you can create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. We will create an integration where our trigger will be new order paid in Razorpay and our action will be to create a lead in our Zoho CRM. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we will learn how can you create leads in your Zoho CRM whenever a new order is paid in your Razorpay account. So we can create an automation for this whole process with the help of Pabli. This is the landing page. Let us quickly sign in into our account. If you don't have an existing account, you can click upon sign up for free. Now I will reach this page where all the applications are provided. I will use Pabli Connect to create automation for this. As soon as you reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect, you have to click on this button called create workflow and give a suitable name to your workflow. I am going to name it as create leads in Zoho CRM when an order is paid in Razorpay. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Here you can see two windows with trigger and action written over it. Trigger says when this happens an action says do this, which means the trigger application will have an event. An event will take place in that application, which will trigger the workflow. And then when that triggers, the action application will perform the assigned action. Like the trigger for this workflow is going to be razor pay. As whenever an order is paid in razor pay, that will trigger this workflow and the action will be to create a lead in our Zoho CRM. So the event will be order paid. Once this is done, you have to use a webhook URL that is given to you by Pabli Connect to connect Pabli Connect and razor pay so that whenever an order is paid, then this workflow will make sure that the Pabli Connect gets to capture the whole response over here in the workflow so that it can transfer it to Zoho. Okay, so we have to follow these instructions given to us. So let us see what we have to do. We have to log into our account and then navigate to the webhook section available under settings. So let us go, go to accounts and settings from the left side panel. Here in settings, you will find webhooks. Click on webhooks and then you have to add a new webhook. When you click on add new webhook, you have the first thing you need to enter is this webhook URL. So let us copy from there. And as soon as you copy, you can see it starts waiting for a webhook response. So let us go back, paste it over here. You can create another and any secret key over here. So I'm choosing the password of my account. Then this is the email and I have to choose the active event. So it is order paid. So whenever an order is paid, this webhook will work. I'll click on create webhook and then it's successfully created. Now you have to create a order. How can you do that? See, you can go to payment pages over here and from here you can see right top corner, create payment page. You can create your own payment page. Like you can see there are many payment pages created. I have created this page over here. I've copied this link and opened this form in a separate tab. So this is just a dummy page. So I'm going to fill in this form. My email address is this. This is my phone number and this is my first and last name. PIN code is this. So I have filled this form. I will pay this amount. And once this payment is successful, I will be receiving a response over here. So make sure that you pay it because it's a dummy one. It will automatically detect. I'm making it a success. So the payment is successful. So now this is done. So when you go back to Pabli Connect, you can see a response has been received. All the information is here, the name of the person, the email address, the phone number, the pin code, and also the amount that is paid is also here. See, it's all here. So which means that our trigger has worked successfully. Now, when you come down to your action application, nothing is going to change. You are just going to use over here Zoho CRM and then connect your Pabli Connect with your Zoho CRM. So the event is going to create a lead and then connect so add new connection connect with zoho crm and enter the zoho domain over here so when you go back to your zoho account you can see the url says zoho.com so that is what is our domain select one from here these are the options that could be possibly your domain but our domain is .com so we are going to paste that save and it will automatically detect just give access by clicking on accept and the accounts will be connected so now Pabli Connect has access to create a lead inside Zoho CRM. 
So now you have to fill in certain details over here, which are generally required to create a lead. We are going to fill in these details with the help of our previous step that is razor pay. So the process is called mapping. Whenever you have to fill in the details of any empty field in your action window. So when you click on that empty field, it will ask you to insert data from the previous step. And it gives you the option also to map that data. So this drop down menu is that option. When you click on this drop down menu, so you can see all the information that you generally need is over here itself. So just we have to select or either if you have a very long list, you can click on the search and map data field and enter. So like the, our first name was this. So you can straight away map it from here. No need to search. Now again, so the last name is also here. No designation, but there was an email address. So again, search and map data and I wrote at the rate and here is my email address. Then we have the phone number. So this was the phone number and that's how it's very easy to map everything. You come down now, this field says required, but we are just entering details to create a lead of an order that has been paid. So no annual revenue is required. So right now for this case, I am putting it as zero. If you are creating any workflow where annual revenue is required to be filled, you can fill it according to yourself. Then no address required, but yes, we had the zip code. So I will just type over here. This was my zip code and these are the details that were supposed to be filled. Simply click on save and send test request and wait for the response from the action application and see the response is here. It says success and all the details are here and the messages record added. So we will save our workflow right here. Close this win action window also. And then we'll go back to our Zoho CRM to check. Refresh and see. Here is the newly created lead. All right. So the number, the email address and the lead name is also here, which means that our workflow has been a success. So let us quickly recap. Our trigger application was Razor Pay. I already created a payment page over here. You can create your own payment page by clicking on create payment page over here. And I opened the link in a separate tab so that I can fill and the payment was successful. So after that, the response was received and then it was further transferred to Zoho CRM. We filled in the empty fields with the process called mapping and a lead was created. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.